एक्सरसाइज नाइन एंड टेन सर आफ्टर एवरी सेवन ईयर्स और टेन ईयर्स यू पुट द वर्ड एन ऑन द वर्किंग क्लास नाउ दैट इज एग्जैक्टली वाट वी आर डूइंग टू मीट आवर डिफिसिट वी आर बोरोइंग मनी एक्सटर्नली एंड इंटरनली एंड इंटरनल बोरोइंग्स विल हिट ओनली द पुअर मैन वाट डू वी डू टूडे टूडे वी कैन रेज फंड्स वी इशू द पब्लिक सेक्टर बॉन्ड्स द गवर्नमेंट बॉन्ड्स द आई डी बी आई बॉन्ड्स एक्सेट्रा गेट सब्सक्राइब इमिडिएटली बट द इंटरेस्ट एंड द रीपेमेंट कैन ओनली बी एट द कोस्ट ऑफ द कॉमन मैन नाउ अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट हियर इज दिस हैव बी एग्जॉस्टेड ऑल द मीन्स सपोज दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम this is the expenditure of the country let us also assume that what the finance minister has done his best to curb expenditure but in spite of that if this is the minimum expenditure and that is the revenue what is the best way to curb the deficit sir in the western countries in america in england in western europe etc the government expenditure goes up every year and it will go up every year in every country because salaries and other expenses go up but in those countries it is made up by increased revenue because the private sector is also making more profits and they are getting more by way of taxes from these people now in the socialist countries or the communist countries there is no private sector there the entire resource base is their own public sector enterprises now sir in india the late pandit jawahar lal nehru during the formative years of our freedom chose the path of mixed economy though during the last 3 years the government has made a lot of policy changes but i understand that the government is still committed to the industrial policy resolution of 1956 the industries act 1951 and largely the policies of pandit jawaharlal nehru now sir the policy of 1956 is largely and basically the policy of pandit jawaharlal nehru which was for a mixed economy in which there will be a private sector and there will be a public sector and later on during mrs india indira gandhi's time the policy was that the public sector should have the commanding heights nevertheless it is an agreed thing that the private sector and the public sector must exist which means that both should benefit the economy sir what is actually happening is that we are collecting money from the private sector which has a saturation limit because we do not have irregularated economy and we do not give any blanket permission to make profit and there are certain regulations that money is not adequate to meet our expenditure not only that 
a part of that money and those resources we have to give to the public sector to meet its losses. Now, this was not the scheme of things and this was not what we bargained for. In the first instance, nowhere in the constitution, nowhere in the industrial policy resolution has that been envisaged. Public sector is very important and the social commitment is there and the purpose of the public sector is there. Sir, I can understand that if you run schools or hospitals or medical centers, there can be a deficit. Nobody said that there should be deficits in a steel making unit or in a cloth making unit. That is not the way to run a welfare state and that could not have been the scheme envisaged by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. So, sir, I submit that the correct and the proper way to meet this deficit is to increase our accurals from the public sector undertakings. Here, sir, I want to refer to the long-term physical policy amended by the government in December 1985. Now, the first question that arises is whether this policy is still followed in the absence of the government saying that the policy is no more valid or announcing any other policy or a new policy. This policy is very much valid because this is a policy for three years and one of the postulates of that policy is that the taxation rates would not be changed for three years. When there is a demand for the reduction of rates or for any other change, the finance ministry says that the long term physical policy prohibits it and that they stand committed to it. I think this policy has been there from December 1985 or was it from December 1986 when it was announced. Anyway, it was announced for three years. Now, sir, let me spend a few minutes and illustrate what that policy sought to achieve. Sir, in that policy itself, which is the government's own document and has been printed by this government and issued by this government, it is said that the balances from the current resource will be negative, that there will be negative balance from the current revenue during this financial year. 